namashiva student welcome to the class student in this class we will start a new chapter from the history textbook of class 7 and the chapter is tribes nomads and settled communities in this chapter we will try to understand about various social changes took place in the indian subcontinent over a different periods of time student you saw in the chapter 2 3 and 4 that how kingdoms rose and fall and how new art crafts and other activities flourished and over the centuries important political social and economic developments had taken place but social change was not same everywhere over different periods of time various political economic and social changes occurred in different parts of the indian subcontinents as the society evolved differently in different places now it is important to understand how and why this happened actually the society was divided into four varnas which you learn in class 6 also and the four varnas are brahmin kshatriyas vaishyas and shudra but due to this system the difference between classes and caste increased in society the rules of the varna system were divided by the brahmanas and mostly they were accepted and followed by all classes of the societies but there were many societies of the subcontinent that did not follow these rules and were not divided in unequal classes these societies came to be known as tribes a social division in a traditional societies consisting of families or communities linked by social economic religious or blood ties with a common culture they also have a recognized leaders so this is about the tribes now these tribes were mostly indulge in agriculture and hunter gathering for meeting their economic and food or health needs different tribes had different lifestyle like some tribes were nomadic in nature which moved over long distances with their animals survived on pastoral products and bought and sold different goods on their way for example the banjaras a nomadic tribes originally from rajasthan that present day rajasthan banjaras were the most important trade nomads as the moguls used them to transport grains there were also castes of entertainers who performed in different towns and villages for their livelihood the others were settled communities tribes retained their freedom and preserved their separate culture different than that of the caste based societies by living in forest hills deserts and places that are difficult to reach in spite of all these differences and clashes the caste based and the tribal societies depended on each other for various needs thus due to such relationship of conflict and dependence both the societies changed so in next class we will see about these changes now who were the tribal peoples about that we will discuss in our next class so till then take care of yourself namashivaya